Good evening, it's Wednesday the 16th of May 2018. I have been asleep basically since I got home yesterday evening until about 4pm today so I think the whole thing just exhausted me a bit and I have been trying to do a lot more stuff but I want to tell you a bit about how yesterday went. Basically the whole session was a two to three hour lecture but where the patients could ask questions especially ones that would apply to a lot of the group and a lot of the information I already knew but it was still really useful to have it from this reputable source this you know hypermobility expert from University College Hospital London and I know that they've got the most up-to-date information there so I actually met this really nice girl who was in some ways quite similarly affected to me and she was in a wheelchair and we were the only two in wheelchairs and I sort of bumped into her and her mum before the session because we were just looking for the place and they ended up we asked them for directions of where to go and they ended up actually being going to the same session so that was interesting I feel really, really validated by seeing and meeting this girl and learning about her experience because a lot of times people say to me, you know, especially doctors and other people like that, that EDS doesn't cause a lot of the things that, you know, I experience and I think most people with EDS have this issue unless they've just got the most common sort of more minor issues but anyway in the lecture he talked about other problems that go with EDS so there was the thing about gastrointestinal problems and he actually mentioned there that you should stop eating gluten and dairy if you've you know got this issue and you've got EDS and that was interesting because just through experimenting myself I've discovered that I do have to avoid those two foods otherwise I just generally don't feel well and get a lot of stomach pain so that also was quite validating and my mum was with me and I think it was really good for both of us to hear the same information at the same time from what we both knew was a reputable source because now she can't try and tell me that I'm making some of these experiences up or try and say that it's psychological when it isn't because we've learned that these are all issues that happen in EDS. At the end of the session we got to decide whether we wanted to do one of the courses at UCL Hospital for people with hypermobility and EDS and I chose to do the one which was about managing pain and the other one was a few physiotherapy sessions like Pilates and the pool and stuff but I didn't feel like that was right for me because I know that a lot of times I try and do something like that and it just makes me feel much worse so the managing pain one I think it will come up in the next month or two and I'll have to figure out some way of getting to this hospital in London to go to the sessions because although my mum took me yesterday I know that she wouldn't be willing to take me back for multiple sessions so I got some stuff in the post today um, now there's something here that I ordered that I'm really excited to show you these are compression socks that go up to just below the knee and I really like this design and I think it suits me a lot because you know of me having the fish tanks and then on the other side of the sock there's the tail <laughs> and I also got another pair so I can try and match the colours I'm wearing a bit and these are ones with bees and honeycomb on them I'm really excited to try those out and I'll probably put them on and show you in a sec but first I have some other posts to open so this one I know is a gift from my friend Mac because it says on the envelope so I'm excited to see what he's got me he did mention he'd sent me a little something 
Oh, okay, this is awesome. Let me just unwrap it. It's hard to um, unwrap it from my shoulder like this. Okay, now I can finally show you. It's a pen, like a wooden sort of carved pen with a zebra on it. It's really cool, I love it. And it matches all my other zebra stuff. I think I'm just going to become a zebra lady sooner or later. Okay, this must be the socks in that case. Yes, it is. Now these ones are space socks, so I've got the Earth, a UFO and a little astronaut on them. So I've got a few different pairs to try out there and try and match them to different outfits. But anyway, I've also got what looks like a letter from the hospital, so I'll open that up. Okay, this is an appointment for me to go and see the gastroenterologist again, which is good. Um, 09, when is that? So, May, June, July, August. Obviously, as you can probably see, my shoulder's still really messed up and I feel so exhausted. And I'm not sure if this is just my normal issues or if I'm kind of getting ill or something Bec and I also haven't gotten any more of my university work done for the last few days which is so annoying because I really wanted to get it finished ahead of the deadline but I think I'm just gonna edit and upload a few video logs because I've been delayed doing that too forgive me bye bye for now Hello, so a couple of days ago when um, my mum and her partner were just doing some work on the garden they found these two little tiny cocoons and I think they were just going to throw them away but I wanted to keep them so I put them in a glass jar and my mum just came home and called me in to say one of them's hatched and it has and it's a moth, so I've hatched a moth and I'm just going to take a little video of him before I release him so he can go and find some food. That's the cocoon at the bottom there, and you can see one of them's opened up and the other one's still in there. And here's the moth. I've just brought him outside and he was just wiggling as soon as I came out the door, so I think he knows he's going to be free soon. And I'm just going to let him loose and see what happens. I think I might have to just help him on his way. Off you go. Come on. That's a good moth. 
goodbye, little moth friend. I'm trying to learn how to fill up my own pill boxes because my mum's been doing it for a while since my ex left and I really need to figure out how to do these things myself. So most of them are filled in already, my mum did some and I'm going to have a go at doing the rest.